Okay. Hello everyone, I'm Eric. And I'm Anna. And today we're gonna talk about tennis because I am a, not to brag or anything, but I'm a state qualifying boys tennis player, division two. Indeed he and is. And Anna. What's up? I don't think has any exposure. Not really, except tennis. we tennis. That's it. That is something. So, let, to start off, Anna, what what do you know about tennis? That you just stand on opposite sides of a field and you. Not a field. It's a court. Fine. Then <laughs> you stand on opposite sides of a court, and with like brackets or whatever you want to call them. They're rackets. Yes, yeah. close. And you whack around a tennis ball, and once. Well, blah. I mean, you don't just whack a tennis ball. There's, there's a, an art involved in an art. hitting a tennis ball across the court, specifically over the net, because you can always hit the ball into the net, or sometimes you hit it too hard and it goes out of bounds. Huh. And so that's, that's really the difficult part. Is it ever like a home run like in baseball? <laughs> like it just mm, flies out? No, not no. really. Darn. If you're playing it the right way, that doesn't happen. <laughs> but there are some people who might hit a home run. But there's some people out there too that doesn't that have like butter fingers or whatever, and like they go to hit it, and then like their racket just like that flies. does happen. I've done that a few times before. I've done that playing baseball. Obviously, you play baseball. I've done that a few times. Getting off topic. Yeah. So, do you know how? Do you know how the scoring works? No. I thought you played Wii tennis. Yeah, but I never paid attention. I just I was just too far, and I was just like. Yeah. Okay. Well, so. The first point, so you start out at 0-0, zero, zero, and in tennis we say love for zero. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that love, explains. love. So then first point scored, the player that scores it gets 15. So then it's 15 love. Then if they score again, it'd be 30 love. So the second point, goes, it goes from 0 to 15, 15 to 30. So what do you think the next one is? 40 or 50. It's 40. You're right. Yay. I don't know why, but it goes, so it goes from 0 to 15, first point, 15 to 30, second point, and then 30 to 40 for the third point. And then you say match point or break point, depending on if you're serving it, it's match point. Or if the winner is serving, so if the winner's serving, they say match point. If the loser's serving, they say break point. And then, so like, let's say I'm serving to you, and I'm up 40 love because I'm a state qualifier, and you're not. I'd probably be at zero because so, I'd fail. Well, zero's love. Well. So I would say match point because this point is the point that I'm going to win the match with. Now, if for some odd reason I was on my game and you had 40 and I had love and I was serving, I would say break point because the next, the next point you score, you're going to win the game with. So pretty interesting. Valuable skills here that we're learning. There's so much rules. <laughs> it's all right. The quiz isn't another week, so we'll have plenty of time. Oh, so oh boy. <laughs> do you know how to score points in tennis? I thought you just explained that. No, like the scoring structure, how, we're, how the points are given. But so how would you, if you were playing me, how would you score a point against me? Oh, man, I feel like this is a quiz. <laughs> a little bit. It's an information Ugh. session. I have no idea. Well, there's... Two ways to score, basically. I can score on you if I hit the ball and, you, and it bounces twice on your side, or if you hit the ball and it either goes into the net or out of bounds. And that's it. That's how you score in tennis. It's pretty simple. I mean, there's a few rules. Like if you, if you hit the net with your racket, that's against the rules, so I'd get the point. But that's, you know, we don't need technicalities here. This is only, you know, video number one. Next <laughs> week on advanced tennis lessons, we'll be getting into the in-depth rules. Oh, man, yeah. the in-depth rules. But just for now, we'll stick with this. So do you know where the out-of-bounds lines are? No, they, all the lines look the same to me. They, they do. That's a tricky thing. I know. But so let's say this is our tennis court right here. So this is our tennis court, tennis court. This is our tennis court. It might be easier without all the words. So there's a net right here, right? Mm -hmm. And then here are the alleys. Boy, the there's sides. alleys. Hopefully people don't get jumped yeah. in those alleys. There's lines here. So if the net's right here, there's a line here and a line here. 
We don't need to worry about those, like I said, you know, next week. <laughs> then there's a line here. Wait. Sorry, I'm messing you myself up. You got this, up. Mr. Can Here's the net. Here's these two lines. And then there's a line in the middle of those two that goes on the middle is of the court. Is it an invisible line? Or nope. is it No, it's Solid, just usually there. white. They tend to be white lines. And so here's the alleys. I know you, since you can't see what I'm drawing, it might no, be hard I to explain. No, I can't. But so on the sides, the alleys are for whether or not you're playing doubles or singles because there's two different ways to play tennis. You either have two on two or one on one. So if it's two on two, the court gets expanded, so these alleys are considered in. If it's one on one, then these alleys are out. So the sides. So when it's one on one, the court's only like this big. When it's two on two doubles, then it's the whole court. Wow. Yeah. Pretty interesting. It is interesting. It is. And then, oh, and then when you serve it, pull back out my diagram here. When you serve it, so here's the line. Here's where the net is. And then here's this, this box with two split in half, so there's two rectangles. So if I were serving, you serve, this is called the deuce side. Your, <laughs> the right is the deuce side, the left is the add side. And you always start off serving on the deuce side. So I'm serving here. That means I have to get the ball into this box on the serve. So on the serve, it specifically has to go into this box. And then after the serve goes in, then it can go anywhere in the green Minus the alleys if we're playing singles. I thought you were gonna say it's all man for themself. What do you mean? I don't just just because for your fun. Like one on one on one on one tennis. Pretty much. We don't do that here. Not in America. Yeah. Maybe. There's racquetball. Racquetball. I don't know how that works though. Someone else will have to come in and explain huh. that one. And then another tricky thing about tennis is that the line, so the lines that determine out of bounds and such. If the ball lands on the line, it's considered in. So oh. even if the smallest part of the ball lands on the line, it's considered in. So that there's a lot of speculation in fights when you're playing high school tennis and there's no line judges because, you know, it, there's a pretty big, you know, Interesting. variation between on the line and a little bit off the line. So getting some pretty intense fights when, because also in high school tennis, since there's no line judges, you call your own outs. So if I'm playing you and I think you get the ball out, I just say out and then I get out. the point. So if I heard that, I'd probably be like, oh, really? We're done already? Okay, throw the racket and walk yeah, away. No, not that kind of out. Darn. What else did you talk about? So what do you know about the rackets? Um, that they're a racket and that you hit balls with it. Well, tennis balls. Mm -hmm. That's all I know. Well, there's different kinds of rackets. Oh, too. there are? Yeah. I actually brought two rackets with me, so. Are they different? They are different. So this is just your everyday, you know, mom and dad racket that you get at Walmart for about 40 bucks. I think that's what I got it for. I actually got two of the exact same, I think, for 80. Dang. So you can look at it. Um, usually see, that's how, no offense to this fine racket, but you can tell it's not the highest quality because usually they have the stats not the stats, but the dimensions of the racket written somewhere either in here or on the rim. But this one doesn't have that because it's not that special. But so you can look at it. You can take a look. Play with Pretty it if you fancy. want. I don't have a tennis ball. For, or I might, but we don't need that. Now this right here is a $120 tennis racket. Wow. So as you can see inside, they have the little dimensions. I don't oh, know I if you can that. see it from the camera, but there's writing on the inside that shows. It just says, so the head size, how big it is, the power level. I don't actually know what that means. Who um, knows? The string. I'm not quite sure what that is either. The length <laughs> and, the, and the weight and the balance. So the balance, you know, like how yeah. relative to the handle. So, you know, picking out what rack you want is very important. And especially you have to get them re-strung too, because like see, so like stick your hand in there and like try to move the center string. Wait, where? <laughs> Just wherever in the middle. See how they're like really hard? Yeah. But then when you take this racket, I can just, I can move these left and right, especially on the sides. So this one would have to get re-strung if I were to, you know, play in a tournament with it. But, so that's really important depending on what kind of tennis player you are. If you 
prefer to hit balls just like more straight and with a lot of yeah. power, then you need really tight strings. If, however, you prefer to put spin on the racket and more, more concerned about placement, then you have looser strings. And then you'll also have a different racket too, because generally longer rackets and heavier rackets are more for power, whereas mm -hmm. lighter, not as long rackets are designed more for ball placement and to put spin on it. Huh. Yeah. Do so you have any questions? Not that I can think of. Did you learn a lot? I did. So, quick quiz here. Oh boy. I'm terrible at quizzes. When are, when are the alleys considered in? Um, darn. Um, when you hit them in the box, I believe. Well, remember how we said, so the sidelines, the alleys, depending on how many people you have, sometimes they're considered out, sometimes they're considered in. I know, I knew I'd fail this quiz. Do you want me to tell you? Sure. Doubles. Doubles. Doubles they're in. And then what happens if the ball lands on the line? Is it in or out? Out. It's it. in. Yeah, we went <laughs> over this. I know, but I forget, like, easily. Okay, well, that's fine. Week two. You'll have time to prepare for that. Okay. I'll, I'll okay. do my homework. Well, I think that's about all we have for this first lesson in tennis. So maybe join us next week and we'll have the more advanced tutorial. So I thought that went pretty well.